uh, to my school days. Actually, when I was a student at school, I was a very careless student, but very ambitious at the same time. Two combinations which most of you might not expect them to come together. Whenever I was with my friends, we, we always used to talk about the future, about what we want to be in the future. I sit with myself and ask myself, what do I really want to, to be in the future? Do I really want to be an engineer? Or maybe a doctor? Maybe a teacher? And so on and so forth. However, my performance at school wasn't really that good. I just used to score the passing marks. And, and pass. Yeah. And uh, then one day, I was with two younger relatives who sat with me and told me, Mustafa, look, you keep always telling us about the future, about what we want to be in the future. But haven't you thought really to, to advise yourself first before advising others? <laughs> then that actually was a spark which ignited the fire. Then I went back home and settled myself. Then I started thinking of it. I thought, okay, Mustafa, am I really late? At that time, I was in the 10th grade. So I was left with two more years to, to finish my school. So I thought, am I really late to get what I want? I start from the first day of the 11th grade. I piled myself in, in the box. And I wasn't the most of all which people really knew before. I started, I started very hard, very, very hard actually. Then one day, my father came to me, I mean, came to the room. I was studying, then my father came to me and so, Wow, Mustafa, are you, are you studying? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that was unbelievable to my father. I mean, he hadn't really seen me studying or holding a book or doing any, any of these sorts of things. <laughs> then I kept working very hard, spent most of the time studying, working almost, just working, I mean, studying and sleeping, studying and sleeping. Until, due to my hard performance, uh, the effort I put, that allowed me actually to enter the Sultan Campus University and study the topic which I loved during my, my school days, which was chemistry. During my days at the university, I was very much focused in the applied science and knowledge and tried to link the science with the life. And at the same time, I tried really to, to design my own measure, my own degree. Because as, as most of you might have agreed with me that the science which we, which we receive at the universities is mainly dry. I mean, it, it, uh, it focuses mainly on the, on, the, on the academia. So I thought in order to achieve or to follow my goals, I wanted to, to relate the science to life. So I thought I, I better design my own degree, even a small one, I, I called it minor applied science, applied chemistry. Uh, that allowed me to understand science more and uh, of course when you study science you know then you graduate you go to the market you need to have sorts of understanding of marketing management economy and that would allow, would help you actually to be successful in your career so i designed that at the same time when i was at the university whenever i had time i used to go to the lab and spend most of my time in the lab and to come up with some innovative new ideas because I tried to one day when I was in the last year at the university, I received an email from the, Swiss, uh, the Kuwait Science Club through our university inviting inventors to participate in the first innovation fair, uh, first uh, third international invention fair of the Middle East, which was held in Kuwait. Then I thought, wow, I had an idea which can be turned into reality, into invention. So. I went to the lab and spent the whole day trying to prove that idea, trying to, to, to convert it into invention. My idea was actually this. As some of you might have known that in the Sultanate we have about 8 million barren trees, occupying almost 85% of the, of the uh, agricultural lands. And every year about 160,000 tons of dead palm leaves of dead palm leaves end up uh, being generated as waste. Unfortunately, most of this waste ends up being 
burn it. And burning this waste causes, of course, environmental issues, like uh, release of toxic gas and ash. Mm -hmm. So I thought I could have solved this environmental issue and make it contribute to the economic growth of the Sultan at the same time. I tried to shoot two birds with one stone. I found that my idea was to utilize all of this waste of palm leaf to make paper out of it. And uh, the paper which we could make out of this could be all sorts of paper. Could be paper bags, uh, paper sheets, envelopes, uh, tissues, whatever comes in, in your mind. I mean, even cartoons, business cards, anything. Even I have got some, the same thing which I've shown you here, I've got them with me here. So, the main idea of my, my invention was actually to introduce this, this sort of, of industry to the Sultan. I want to tell you that if you utilize all of these ways of palm leaves for paper making, we could contribute about 50% of the local needs of uh, paper, which I considered as a very, very good share. Especially if I tell you that 100% of the paper products we use in our daily life are being imported. And, and uh, in fact, that counts for about, that costs the Sultanate around 80 million minor years, which is equivalent to about point, about 1% of the country's GDP. So introducing such idea like this to the to the to the Sultanate will help us will help us strengthen our economy, keep our our uh, money uh, internally and helps circulate the money inside the country. So I believe at the same time that Innovation, which or any invention or innovation, is the sign of the economic growth of any country. In order to strengthen the economy of any country, we have to to start from innovation. We have to focus on innovation. So, due to that invitation which I got from Kuwait, I applied. Once I proved my idea, I applied for the, the Kuwait Science Club to participate in that event. And among 700 applicants, only 160 were accepted, and lucky I was, I was uh, among those 160 people. Then I went to the Kuwait, I proved my idea there, I presented, and it was very well appreciated. Then, in fact, because I had the passion to deliver my idea and to, to, to also to get feedback from people, I believed more on this idea and uh, then actually I won the silver medal that was in November 2010. A month of that, after that, due to the strategic importance of this uh, idea actually, I was requested by the university to present my idea to His Majesty during his... Uh, <laughs> I was uh, requested by the university to present it to His Majesty, and as you, as you know that the Sultanate is very much concerned about the the palm tree, and in fact His Majesty himself he, he ordered for planting another one million tree, one, one million palm tree. And for me, meeting with His Majesty was was like a dream. I mean, and it is really a big deal for any man to meet with His Majesty. And here is a, a small story which I would really love to share it with you regarding my meeting with His Majesty. Six months before my meeting with His Majesty, I was sitting with one of my professors at the university. Then I told him, uh, that professor was, his name is uh, Dr. Hamad al-Mamri. I told him, Doctor, you know, three times during my life at, at the university, I dreamt that I met with His Majesty. <laughs> Then I told him, but I don't know how to explain this, these three dreams. Then I told him, well, Mustafa, look, 
When I was at the Oxford University doing my PhD, I was requested by the university to, to present my thesis to the Queen Elizabeth during my last year. So he, then he told me, look Mustafa, you are my student, you are my son. So maybe one day in the future you will have the chance maybe to meet with His Majesty, presenting maybe something to him, like a final project or anything else. So then I wasn't really sure that I was standing in front of His Majesty until I shake the hand. <laughs> So meeting, of course, with, my, with His Majesty gave me really more belief on, on my idea. So that gave me more passion to continue in this, this idea, try to improve it, try to, to come up with more <coughs> ideas of developing it as well. So after that, immediately after my graduation from the university, we had like an innovation revolution in the Sultan. People started, you know, getting interested about innovation, giving it more concern, more interest, uh, importance and interest. Then, I got the chance to participate in the first innovation fair Oman, which was uh, organized by the Industrial Innovation Center and led by the, our previous or the first speaker, Dr. Abdullah Zekwani, which I really call him as the innovation revolutionary of the Sultan. I participated in that fair and uh, I won the second place. After that, a month after it, I got invited by a German organization called Missy Frankfurt to, to participate in the Paper World Fair, which was held in Dubai. Actually, the main idea of my participation here was to, to further my idea down, to, to meet with paper specialists, and to get contacts as well. So after that, I was featured in the Johar Oman book, which were, as you know, the Johar Oman means Jewel of Oman. And then I was also featured in the English course book for the 11th grade, 11th grade of the Oman. I believe, I really, I believe in my idea and I believe that this idea could save the environment, it could contribute to the, to the uh, economy, it could really uh, provide jobs for the Omanis and to, uh, to get, because it's a sustain, sustainable source. And at the, at the same time, I believe in sharing ideas with people. <laughs> what really helped me to get to where I, where I achieved is not only because of myself, it's because also of the people. During my participations in the fairs, I tried to utilize people's thoughts. I tried to share, it with, to share my idea with people, tried to get feed from people. So some people, they might come up with because, you know, a person, I might be good in the technical side of this, this project. But of course, I would be maybe liking the, the marketing background, you know, the economy, the management, you know, all these sorts, you know, the, 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 the business, in other words. So, those people who came to the fairs, you know, listening to my idea, they were a complementary part to, to mine. So, one thing also I would like to, to mention is that I'm sure that many of you sitting over here might have very much valuable ideas, but because you were lacking, you've been lacking the, the motivation, you didn't think of taking any of your ideas into completion. So, so try to get really motivated, inspired by any of you, could be one of your little brothers, maybe one of your sons, yeah? Uh, any of your close friends and uh, once you get inspired that will be the spark which will take you to you know to disclose your your idea or whatever you have and here I would really like to, to conclude my and thank you very much
Thank you, Mr. Father.